Hey guys, it's Lala Lodi and welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but I've been debating on whether or not I should make this video. Now, I've always been someone who has always been interested in finding all this kind of manga or anime that's been labeled disturbing and seeing what all this stuff is really about. But there's always been this one specific manga which nearly every reader has been told do not read this manga, never go out and search for it, do not read it. And y'all know by the title what it's about, and this is about Metamorphosis. I actually read this book last year. I really don't know what a classifier it as, if it's a manga, a doujin, or... Yeah, it's... I think it's classified as a doujin, but... Compared to other doujins, I think this has a lot more plot in it, so it's like, mm, do you classify it as one? Now, I actually went out and I read Metamorphosis last year, and I've always seen it as this series that has been labelled too disturbing to read, you should not read it. And I went out and I read it, and I had some thoughts about it. And I wanted to share it with you guys today because I feel like now I really wanted to do this video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I'm going to talk about it. So to start off with, the story of Metamorphosis basically follows on Mango Saki. She is a high school student and she's always been kind of introverted. She doesn't have many friends. She's got the typical kind of nerd look about her and she's always told herself she never wants to be like other girls and she doesn't want to be too pretty and too glam. But as she starts to change, as she starts to look prettier, she starts to embrace herself and becoming a much prettier version of herself. She basically goes back on her own word. Now, as we see Saki change, we see her get introduced to new people. And as we see her get introduced to these new people, we see her get also introduced to drugs and obviously a main part of the story which is sex. Now I am going to put this here for all of you who do think of reading this um this book. It does have a lot of sexual assault, it does have drug usage, addiction and yeah if, if those sort of things trigger you I do not recommend reading this manga. But Metamorphosis has always been labelled as one of those really disturbing manga that no one should read. And when I went out and I read this, I was really, really shocked because this is reality. Now I've gone out, I've read a lot of these disturbing series like Shoujo Tsubaki, and I could tell you now it's over -drama dramatized and it's just used for shock factor. But when I was reading Metamorphosis, there was a lot about it that really stood out to me because it was a lot more realistic. You could tell the person who wrote it, Shinduel L, they really put a lot of effort into just thinking out the situations and they didn't try and just do it for like, oh, this shocking thing happened to her, th this, oh, this is very shocking. There was a lot of emotion written into it and when I was reading it I really felt for the main character just like in Shoujo Tsubaki but with Shoujo Tsubaki I'm, I'm just saying I'm gonna be comparing a lot to Shoujo Tsubaki here because I feel like both of them are very like disturbing in the same kind of sense so if you haven't cared much about Shoujo Tsubaki I do have another video on my channel if you want to check it out but let's look at Shoujo Tsubaki you have all this kind of over-dramatized, you have this unrealistic kind of monsters and stuff and really disturbing stuff that happens. Meanwhile, this metamorphosis is just real. Like, Saki could be a real girl. This could have happened to her. And this could have happened to the main character of Shoujo Tsubaki, don't get me wrong. It's just that when I read Metamorphosis, it was more like I was looking into a real person's life. And when I was looking at Shoto Tsubaki, it was way too over-dramatized for me to be like, damn, this hits really hard. It was, it was more disturbing because of the over-dramatization. And honestly, when I read Metamorphosis, I was really shocked with a lot of the things that happened. And I've actually seen a lot of people discuss it and they've said, oh yeah, they've only put it in it just for salt factor, just for 
over -dram dramatize it and honestly I don't think a lot of people realize this and when you're in a situation like that shit can get really fucking dark and things pile up for some people things get better in an instant but for some people things don't and I really love how the author of Metamorphosis kind of highlighted this point and the ending as well I thought was done perfectly I know a lot of people didn't like it because it was too much on the sad side but honestly I think it was done really well Metamorphosis is something that a lot more people need to be reading like we need a lot more of this sort of media out there for people because let's look at this now this book metamorphosis is classified as a doujin when you think doujin you just think basic hentai basic kind of sexual plot but with this this is the first time i've actually seen someone write a hentai with sort of a decent plot and an understanding and a realistic side to it if someone asked me if i would recommend metamorphosis to them i actually would because metamorphosis i feel like is a good telling of life although it is a doujin i do feel that this doujin has shown a lot of realism and i think that's why people find it so shocking is because you don't want to believe this actually happens but in reality this is life for some people and that's why we feel so emotional reading it that's why we feel so disturbed because we don't want to think this is a reality but sadly it is although it may not be happening to me although it may not be happening to you or someone you know someone out there in the world has had to deal with this someone's family has and it's good to see them show something in a disturbing way instead of a glorifying way i think this is the first time i will ever say in my entire life i enjoyed the hentai for the plot but yeah if you guys have like been debating as to whether or not you read it i just say look at the list of triggers sexual abuse drugs addiction if those things do trigger you a lot i do not recommend reading this but if you have time because i read this within an hour it's only a quick read and i highly recommend it if you do have time out of your day and you are of age and you, those things sort of don't trigger you i do recommend going out and reading it because this is a manga that is well worth a read now i'm just gonna say i know a lot of you are not gonna agree with me on some of the points i made so i actually want to hear your opinions about metamorphosis if you've read it if you have not if you were debating on reading it in the comments below i really want to hear other people's opinions on this this is why i make these videos so i can express my opinion as well as hear some of your guys so yeah i'm gonna leave the video at this today and i hope to see you guys in the next video hopefully we will be talking about something that's a little bit less disturbing something a little bit more nice something not so sad hopefully we'll be back on a good term next time but anyway you guys i love you thank you for watching this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and also make sure to comment down below thank you for watching farewell friendly eye